about two o'clock in the morning and we're zipping down the lake so we can be fishing at dawn. And we'll be fishing for We are looking for the, the babies, the snakehead babies, and the mother and the, and the, and the father look after their babies. And uh, it's quite acceptable to catch them because they go back to the young. We have to wait for one of the adults to come up, preferably the biggest one. Comes up, takes a mouthful of air, turns down, and then you make your shot. And your shot has to land about one and a half feet, one feet to one and a half feet in front of its nose. Fairly gently, and then boop it straight away, and then speed up and the fish chase after it and eat it. You don't strike, you just keep retrieving. Um, sounds easy, but it's actually very, very difficult because it's a very limited time to make the shot, but it's a lot easier than trying to catch them when they haven't got babies, which is my favourite way, but it's not really happening like that at the moment. Do you want net? Not yet. Oh, I'm just and of course, these fish, they will snag you if you let them run, and they will break your rod if you try to put the pressure on with the rods. You just don't use the rod. You try to keep all the bend out of the rod and you hand line and you hold them. And then when you reckon it's going to break, which is probably about 27 pounds, when you reckon it's going to break, you just have to let it go. I've got the line here. You've seen it in the video. Fish is taking, taking the line. I'll give it, give it, give it. And then when I think it's all I'm going to give, I have to let it go and get back onto it. And uh, so you've really got to bully them. I, I teach, you've got to try and pull their face off. God, they're so strong. <laughs> Very big. Huh? Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. God. Mm. Right. Don't need the net. Do we need the net? Very strong hook, debarbered of course. This is a perfect size, you can use 2 as well, but I think uh, it's slightly better. Now you need a few turns of lead here at the back, otherwise the fly just skips across the surface. Now, uh, I like a bit of red in the middle of this. This is, I believe this is polar bear. The basis of this fly, it's green and red. Can't go wrong with that. An injured frog. Yes. That's one part first. Turn it here. This cylinder here should be straighter than that. And the cylinder, put it out at the front, put the back, and the same, put it back, and then very quickly 
Keep going to the front, and hopefully that should set to a square. This is interesting, this bit, because when you squeeze this, it actually gets warm. When do you think it's warm? So I'll glue that, and the idea here is to, oh, got my finger stuck, is just to glue it so there's just a little lip of maybe a couple of mil over the front. And even or maybe on the on this uh, just helps toughen it up a little bit. Find the gaps here. Mm -hmm. 